Hello boys and girls, welcome to part 2 of the EJ25 build for the 06 STI. If you're new here, consider subscribing, like the video if you did. Today we're doing uh, piston rings and pistons. Let's get to it. Now it's piston time. I'm gonna reinstall the crank bolt just so I can turn the crank. Okay. Crank seems to turn. I don't want to rotate it now. The rods are in there loose. I don't want scrape to the, scratch the uh, cylinder walls. Okay, let's just go with number. So the way these are numbered, this is the top of the engine, back of the engine. Cylinder one, two, three, and four. We have eight of these. You got seven. Why do we have seven? I also had the machine shop gap the rings. They numbered each bag to each cylinder. So one, four, two, and three. Here, check this out. This is the the worst piston. Number four. Look how much thicker the manly is on top. See that there? It's actually a little bit shorter. The stock one is a tiny bit taller, but the skirt is shorter. But this top area of the piston is thicker. So the reason why the clearance between the piston and the cylinder wall on the forged piston pistons needs to be uh, bigger is because the material is more flexible and they actually grow slightly bigger when 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 they get hot so bigger clearances are necessary so the piston simply don't get stuck when they're hot inside its bore so i put one pin one clip in as you can see and there's a, an arrow pointing to the front of the engine so looking at the engine since that's the front okay arrow will go this way and the pin will go in here through here you need to install the inside clip on the piston before you put it in then the pin will slide in here through the rod and then you install from here through through this peak hole you're going to install the second clip. The second one here, on number four, the peak hole is on the ins on the back of the engine. So the clip will have to go on the inside here, so in both middle. So on this piston, see arrow pointing up towards the front of the engine, so clip on the inside of the piston, or on the left, if you look at it from here. And this will go on the right side of the so they, they are next to each other okay so let's put this box aside I actually did weigh these pistons they weigh exactly the same so let's do number two which is this guy here I'm gonna use compressed air Sure it's clean number two number two here we go so we got a set of rings get some light in here okay looks like this is the not sure what to call it the second ring this one scrapes the oil down back into the crankcase and you can see by the picture here this guy here, second groove, naper cut down. I don't know if you probably won't be able to see this, but this will be on the bottom. This is the compression ring, top groove bevel up. It looks like that's the inside. This is the outside, that's the inside. It's hard to tell. This camera doesn't do well focusing so 
It's gonna go this way. And then these oil rings, okay, they do have a little cut here, like a little tab. Now you wanna offset every ring. All right, just gonna do it one by one. So we're gonna check the gap of each ring. Okay, so make sure the oil ring, every ring you will put back in the uh, cylinder. It's nice and even. And we're gonna, now these are usually set to a bigger gap than uh, the other rings. So I got a 17 and 16. Let's go to 17, 18. Okay, this actually does not fit. So we're at 17 and 16. Uh, so that's uh, 27, 33, which is fine. 33.033 is just fine. So let's remove this one. Okay, I'm not even going to bother with this. This is a much bigger gap. Let's go back to the 30, what was it, 33? So 16 and 17. fits right in and it's tight that's fine okay let's see the second ring Nice and even, We're supposed to be at 0 0.024, no actually 0 0.025, it's a little tight, but it fits, yeah, and 0.024 0 .024 fits very easily, let's try 0.25 again. Yep, it fits. Okay, so this one will do. Let's check the compression ring. This one was supposed to be at 20.24. Okay, it does fit. It is tight. Check point two or point zero two three. Easy fit. Okay, you just gotta push it, push it in a little bit more. So that's what you do. That's how you measure these. You just gotta push it in, push the rings uh, a little bit deeper into the bore. So I am gonna do do that to all of them. I'm not gonna bore you. All right. Now that I know that all the the gaps on the rings are good. It's time to install them. You see the little cutoff on the piston here? This this part of the ring, that's where it's gotta go. You wanna be super careful. These can break.
Okay. So that I don't know if you can see this, but so that tab on the ring is gonna go right into this ridge here, into the piston. So facing down. Simply so it doesn't turn. Now there is another cutout for the top ring, for the top oil ring. So the gap, whatever this ring may be called, we're gonna put it on the opposite side of the two. Come on. Just trying to pop it in there. Okay, there we go. It took longer than I thought. Okay, now another tab that's going to go on top into here. All right, much easier on this one. There we go. Make sure they're all in its place. Okay, and the the cut is here. I'm going to just slightly move it. Okay, so see these are on the on opposite of each other. So I'm simply going to put this gap right here, right in between. And right, that's fine. So one, two, three. Okay, either here or here. For the middle ring, doesn't matter. Okay, that's fine. Okay, see they're not spinning, stuck in one spot. Let's continue with the, I guess it's the scraping ring. This ring actually, as it comes back towards the crank, it scrapes the oil off the cylinder wall. Okay, so let's see. So that's right there. So the cut out that groove there that goes on the bottom and the way we're gonna do this <clears throat> the second ring uh, gap is gonna go on one side of the pin and the other is gonna go on the other side of the pin you don't wanna go you don't wanna place the gap where the piston skirts are it's gonna use this tool here There we go. And now the compression ring. Remember with the groove, the inside groove up top. The other way to tell is if there's any marks writing on the ring, it's usually it go or goes on the top. <laughs> Looks like we're good. Now I need to spin the crank well very little bit and bring this is the inside there see that's the actual rod there the pin will go through there so i need to align it so it needs to go to the left a bit Okay, well, it looks okay from where I'm standing. All right, I'm gonna oil the cylinder wall. I'm gonna put assembly loop on the piston. Skirts and the oil rings. 
I just don't want to come out. Now, if I was was doing a stack rebuild and I would know that I'm gonna start this engine like within a week or so, then I wouldn't bother with the assembly loop. But since it may take me a while because I got a lot more stuff to do, I am gonna be using assembly loop. This way I'll know that it won't run down and it'll be okay when I'm ready to start it. Okay, now I'm gonna make sure that those gaps are in their right spots. That they didn't move, that the rings didn't move. Looks okay. Actually, I'm gonna put a bit of assembly lube inside the rod. Yes, I know this is a cheap tool. Hopefully it'll work. Didn't go all the way. Not as tight as it goes. Okay, second attempt. Okay, I think I know what I gotta do. Last attempt. If this is not going to work, I'm going to buy a better tool. Alright, I need both hands for this. See the pin there? Needs to go through the rod now. It's through the rod, now it needs to go 
into the other side of the piston. Okay, there it goes. So that's what it looks like now. And now all that's left is the clip. And that's how it's supposed to look. Number two is installed. This is the number four next. I'm gonna stand, stand it on its side. Okay, so you get the idea. That's number two, this is number four. Basically, same thing, just a different hole. <laughs> and that's it. First you align the rod with this hole, you drop the piston in, align the piston with the rod, pop the pin in, and don't forget about the clip. You can adjust the rod through the bottom of the engine. Okay. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna finish number four, one and three, and I'll show you the result.
Beautiful.